go ahead. Ready? Yep. All right, this is day one of the advanced program. We're going to start with the Romanian deadlift. So there's different ways to grip the bar. You can go with a overhand grip, or you can also alternate your grip as the bar gets heavier. Um, it's easier to hold on to it if you switch grip. Either way is fine. So for the barbell, the Romanian deadlift, you're going to pull your shoulders back to keep a nice upright posture. Chest is up. You're going to push your hips back. Keep a nice straight back. And push your hips forward again. So your knees will have a slight bend. You don't want to lock them out. But you want all of the movement to come from your hips rather than it being like a squat. And I just lower down until I get a good stretch in my hamstrings and back up. Some of you will get a stretch quicker than others. I get it pretty fast so I don't go very low. <laughs> Next exercise is a barbell hip drop. This one you're going to use the same barbell, same weight, and a bench. And you're going to put the bar right on the crease of your hips and arms and shoulders will go on a bench. Knees will be bent, you'll just push through your heels to raise the bar up, squeeze your glutes and back down. Up, squeeze your glutes and back down. Then the next exercise will be a squat thrust. It's like a burpee but you're not going to do the push up at the bottom or the jump at the top. You'll just squat down, hands on the ground, jump your feet out, jump your feet back in, and stand up. Then the next circuit will be a 12 inch goblet squat. I'm going to hold the kettlebell or a dumbbell in the goblet position. Feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed out slightly, and you'll sit down on the box. And back up, chest stays up, elbows between your knees, back up. We'll go ahead and rest at the bottom, completely relax, and stand back up. You'll relax, tense everything before you stand up, drive through your heels. And that is the goblet box squat. Then, we'll move this bar out of the way and do the barbell paddle boat. It's an abdominal exercise. There's a couple of different ways to do it. We'll start the first way. The easier the two variations. We'll be holding it with both hands. You're going to lean back slightly, keep your core tight. And you're going to slowly straighten and lower one leg while the other pulls back. Slow and controlled. The faster you go, the easier it is, so we want to take it slow. Make sure you're really activating those abdominal muscles. Then the other way, if you're feeling tough, is to do it one-handed. Makes it a lot more challenging. And you just repeat the same thing, holding it just in one hand. Your other hand can just be off to the side. You almost want to tap your calf to the floor without setting your leg all the way down. Elbow locked out, right above your shoulder. You'll do the prescribed reps and switch hands. Okay. All right, so after the paddle boat, we're going to keep bent knees, laying down, bridge your hips up. We want a straight line from your knee to your shoulder. And you're just going to alternately tap your toes. Make sure your heels stay on the ground and you're tapping your toes as fast as you can. And as you go, it'll get slower and slower. But we're going to shoot for 45 seconds to start. And you should really feel it start to burn on the front of your shin. That's exactly what we're looking for. And that is the toe tap. <laughs>